and our all hunter match is coming up. Let's talk about what's in my bag. Hi, Travis Fox from UltimateReloader.com here. I want to talk to you guys about what I'm taking in my match bag for the NRL Hunter match. We've got all this stuff laid out in front of us here. Got the bag here, the tripod, the rifle. So let's talk about all these different things that are laid out on the bench in front of me here. Okay, NRL Hunter match versus a PRS match. What are we talking about here? Well, a PRS match, you're going to have a 90 second stage with a barricade or some, some type of obstacle that you have to shoot with using or kind of opposing you almost sometimes it seems like what the match directors come up with they kind of just like to beat us up a little bit with that it's pretty fun but the nrl hunter match this is designed to take the individual and or a team and you're going to come to a stage you have a longer amount of time you have to find range and then engage these targets and they're going to give you natural terrain and they're gonna give you multiple targets or multiple positions that you have to engage these targets from. So you're gonna to have to figure out how to build these positions. And just taking like a single bag for like a PRS match is probably not gonna quite do it on some of these stages. On some of them it might, um, but on some of them it probably is not. So we're gonna to need to have a little bit different gear, maybe a little more depending on the stage. So here we are going over all this stuff now that's on the table here in front of me. All right, so here's the gear breakdown. Every match, we're gonna need cartridges, right? So we got cartridges, we're gonna need a good rifle. I've got the 6.5 Creedmoor that Gavin just built. You'll see that in some other features that we did. The thing is an absolute hammer, I love shooting it. I've been trying some of the 147 ELDMs and then the 140 Burgers with uh, several different powders. I'm hopefully gonna do a story on that too. Uh, I've got some ear protection. I got some gloves and a hat in case it gets cold here, which our spring has been crazy. So I actually had to wear that stuff the other day got rags for wiping stuff down, got a rear bag, I've got a, a good, you know, multi-purpose bag here, wrist coach, which is going to be on my wrist, the Athlon Kronos 10 by 50 laser range finders. These are like really nice to have because you can be finding the target and then laser it at the same time. You don't have to switch between my backup range finder that I have. I've got a weather flow meter here that I use. A lot of times I use that at the beginning of a match um, and I don't really use it during the day, honestly. I kind of don't get too stressed about that DA change uh, throughout the day too much unless there's just something crazy that happens. Uh, I've got tools with me. I've got a nice set of these Wheeler Fat Sticks here. Love these things, they're great. I've got some other extra little tools. I've got a, a right in the rain notebook in case it starts pouring down rain on me, which happens. And then I've got another little notebook here that I like to use if I, I need to write myself some notes, remember to do something, or if I look at a stage and I go, oh man, I need to write some more of this stuff down, that a risk coach is not gonna have enough scribble room on it. If I need more information, I can do that. Sometimes if I'm looking at uh, a target in some like timbered terrain, I'll, I'll bring out a compass and I'll take a compass reading and then I'll know, okay, if I lose where I'm at, I'll go, oh yeah, back to that compass reading, it's there. So that can come in handy. I've got an extra mag. I've got a mag on my belt. I've got a mag in the gun and you can always, you know, doesn't hurt to have one of those. Got some eye protection sunglasses, got my reading glasses, and you know, the wrist coach, uh, I'll tell you guys one thing about that that I wanted to touch on, is wet erase markers, not dry erase markers. The wet erase markers, uh, you can't rub them off. <laughs> I made the mistake one time of using dry erase markers, and I threw my wrist coach up and I was like, eh, it's a bunch of blur. <laughs> it didn't work too well. I don't know what I was thinking on that. So. And then I have a rifle cover here. So those are pretty nice to have. If it's like super dusty or it gets really rainy or something like that, you want some protection on your, on your optics and over that action. So got the Eberly stock and old Eberly stock uh, rifle scabbard type backpack that I have. And I actually don't really carry the rifle inside that scabbard portion too much. Um, I usually just carry my rifle, but that scabbard portion is really good. You can like shove like clothes in it, like a raincoat or some of your, colder gear as the day goes on, you get hotter, you can take it out and stuff it in there. Because I do carry the rifle in there, but honestly not that much. But that, that rifle scabbard area is super handy for other, other things. And then over here, I've got the QDT tripod from Two Vets Sporting Goods. That is, thing is the bomb, man. I tell you what, I love this tripod. It's like so awesome. I put a little grip tape on the one side. So I keep that one grip tape on the left-hand side. I'm a right-handed shooter. So I, I grab it, I'll carry the tripod with that grip tape, and then I always know that I've got that thing positioned so that I've got one leg in front of me and two legs back. And with that grip tape, it's just a signal. I don't have to look at anything, I don't have to figure anything out. I just know the grip tape side, it goes on the left, it goes over here, every time, 
So you'll notice on the top here, I've got a tack table. This tack table's the bomb, because I made it, it's pretty cool. It's just a carbon fiber plate with an Arca rail on it. And then I got a bag on top that's strapped in place and it stays there. And these things are super handy to use. When you go get your range finders up there, you're gonna put that range find, the binoculars, and get you a real stable platform, get a good range, and then you're gonna have that thing oriented to where your rifle is going to be. And, and you should kind of have that somewhat set up. And you're gonna take some good markers of where your target's gonna be, and you should be able to shoot. So that's everything I have in my bag. I've got a couple other things on me that I wanna talk about. I've got this bungee cord system that I carry around. I've got it looped through my belt. These are good shooting pants, and I've got a gun belt on, so that's all gonna stay up in position. And then I've got this other bag that's kinda of looped through one of these bungee cords. You can see they got a little give to them. This thing pops off pretty easily. And I can always use it to get up front if I need to lean on something, and it works very well. The other item that I have is I have knee pads on. I always wear knee pads when I'm shooting. I wear knee pads up here at Ultimate Reloader. I wear them at the match. I wear them probably four days out of the week just because I know I need them. Because we're like throwing yourself down on your knees, it's pretty nice to have. I don't really worry about it. I don't worry about a stick poking me in the knee. It really helps a lot. So these are all the things I have in my bag for the NRL Hunter match. Now, would I use this for a real hunt? Um, Probably, I bet I would probably take a good 75% of what is in here. I'd want to have tools. I'd want to have an extra mag. I'd want to have a laser rangefinder. I want to be able to build a position in various sales. I definitely would take this tripod. I might carry a different backpack. I don't know. We'll see. But there's a lot of things that I actually probably would take on a hunt here just for the whole day. I'm going to carry some food, some water, things like that. So there you go. There's my NRL hunter bag. So what I'd like to know is drop a comment below. Let me know what you have in your bag. Let me know what I'm missing. And let me know what you don't think I should take. I'd like to hear from you guys. So it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not going to want to miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting. Thank you.